Hey, what is going on, everyone? This is your boy from Veer Side, the Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons, as all your support really helps me remain motivated to continue making these type of videos on this channel, covering a variety of topics, and also helps this legally blind YouTuber remain motivated to continue doing what he's doing on this channel. This is my second video of the day, and well, it also helps the channel grow. This is my second video of the day, and as I mentioned, we are in the prime season of cricket so there's a lot of cricket going on all around the world so i'm going to try and cover as much as i can so you will see a lot of cricket videos coming up on my channel so if you're a cricket fan cricket follower please don't forget to hit that like subscribe and bell notification buttons if you want to hear what i have to say about many of the topics now Let's do the squad analysis, uh, overall squad analysis for the Bangladesh tour of Zimbabwe. The big news is that Nurul Hassan Sohan is going to take over captaincy and Mohamedullah Riyad, Mushrik Rahim, they're not going to be in the squad. What do I think of this? Good move. Good, good move. Okay? Because the Bangladesh cricket board, for once or at least after a long time, it seems they actually went by performance before taking a decision. They went by proof that they have before taking a decision. Not to include someone, but to leave some people out. Okay? It is also good to see, by the way, uh, well, well, let's start with the, with the T20 first. Okay. Another thing we see is that Hassan Mahmoud is coming back, which is a good thing. It bolsters our pace attack, okay? And Alan Donald has good things to say about Hassan Mahmoud, apparently. Okay, I've actually heard the... Uh, uh, I've actually heard some of the Bengali interviews uh, where Hassan Mahmoud himself is saying that a Alan Donald had a lot of praises for him. And, like, you know, to the point where he at least wanted Hassan Mahmoud to be with him in West Indies, if even if he's not going to be in the squad, just for further training purposes. So that was good to see. Okay, uh, there's an indication of Mehdi Hassan Miraz coming back into T20. That is also good to see because I I don't think just because of one or two bad performances, he should be left out of the T20. And also, if Mehdi Hassan Miraz performs in the T20s, okay, where the pitch, the, the condition, sorry. Yeah, the the conditions of the pitch. Well, yeah, the pitches and conditions. They're more batting friendly. And if he can learn how to maneuver and how to bowl and use more psychology to actually outwit the batters, it'll only do good for his career. Okay. But the big news is that Nurul Hassan Sohan is going to be the captain. And Parvez Hussain Iman... I believe, is getting his debut, which is good, which is good, because you have the entire squad that won the ICC Under-19 T20 World Cup, and to not use them and to not develop them further and to not graduate them to the next level of national team, it's just stupid. I'm just, I'm still waiting on Akbar Ali. Like, you know, when his time is going to come. Shoreful Islam came from there. That's good. Okay. Mahmoud Lassan Joy came from there. That's good. Okay. Now we're seeing Parvez Hussain Imon. And I believe uh, Munim Shire might have come from there as well. So, good. We're starting to see some of the players. That is good. That is good. Just like, you know, hopefully the transition was a bit more quicker. Mushrik Rahim being dropped. I'm like... He wants to put a temper tantrum on on Facebook in a in a subtle way, you know. You know that's entirely up to him. I'm like, you know, and honestly, it yeah, I'm with Kalajog in this one. You know, you know, it makes him look bad. But this type of new beginning approach for Bangladesh before the Asia Cup, okay, where they want to see, okay, the old formula was not working, okay. You had Mahmudullah, you had Mushik Rahim, and, and you had all, all these all these players, okay. It was not working. So let us try with a new captain, at least to start off. 
with a new captain. Let us see where that goes. No problem at all. Because if you try the same thing over and over again and it doesn't work and you're still trying it, I believe that's defined as insanity. Okay? Or at least it would be perceived as the BCB not knowing what to do. So they're just sticking with the same formula and hoping that one day things will fall into place. So they're resting Mahmoudullah for this one. They're resting Mushuk Rahim for this one. Okay. They brought back Hassan Mahmoud. Okay. They have uh, Parvez Hussain Imon. And, you know, they have players like Lytton Kumar Das and, 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 and you know, Sheikh Mahadi, I believe. So, like, I, I believe, like, Afif Hussain also, you know, uh, might be in there. So that's good. That's good. And you're having a T20 series against Zimbabwe. And Zimbabwe, by the way, not to be taken lightly. I believe they just won the qualifying tournament. Like, you know, to qualify for the the upcoming T20 World Cup. So, they just won that. So, they have momentum on their side. And this is in their home conditions. So, it's not to be taken lightly. So, that's, that's it for the T20 side. Good move. New, be new beginning for Bangladesh cricket in terms of T20s. Good move. Can't wait to cover those matches. And can't wait to see what happens. Now... Going into the ODI side, okay? First of all, yes, yes, Animal Hawk is in the ODI side. Yes. Now, please let us see Animal Hawk perform and get a chance, okay? Okay? My problem is Najmul Hussain tomorrow is also in the ODI side. I believe also in the T20 side as well. How many times should he fail before you say enough is enough? There is something wrong with Najmul Hussain tomorrow that he cannot perform consistently today in international cricket. How many times must he fail before the BCB gets that through their heads? And understand that it's a psychological issue that Najmul Hussain Shanto faces. And take appropriate measures. And when I mean appropriate measures, I mean hire a sports psychologist to be with your team. Not bring a sports psychologist for one or two sessions. Good Lord. Like, honestly, like, you know, like, you know, doing my other videos and whatnot, I'm starting to realize how little people understand about psychology. And I am not in I am not in the hardcore psychology. I'm in educational psychology. Okay. I'm in education educational psychology, and I know I can tell you that a psychological process, especially when it comes to a, a psychological, uh, you know, psychologist, sorry, tongue twister, comes to a psychologist, you don't just do it just by one or two therapy sessions. Bro, the mind is not a car that you just take it to a mechanic. And like, you know, screw some nuts and bolts in the right places and there you're good to go. The mind is not a car. So, hopefully, if the BCB want Najmul Hussain tomorrow to perform today, they have to fix that psychological block that is keeping him from performing today. Because from what I hear in the domestics and, you know, in net sessions, he really times the ball well. Then why is he not performing? Furthermore, if he's not performing, why is he in the squad? Now, Tamim Iqbal, he can't just say, oh, um, when it's a decision that the media doesn't like, oh, it's the, man it's the fault of the management. But if it's a decision that I like, uh, the, the media likes, oh, then it's my decision. You can't, bro, come on, man. People are not that stupid, okay? People are stupid. Like, a, a lot of people, they're lacking intelligence, but... They're not that gullible, especially the ones in South Asia. They don't tell you to your face, but they see through a lot of the nonsense. Oh, good Lord. And that is one of the reasons, like, you know, like, personally, that is one of the reasons why South Asia does not prosper. It's one of the reasons is, is, you know, it's a pettiness due to the, you know, lack of communication. But anyway, that's that's for, for another uh, discussion completely. But... The ODI squad, it is good to see. Hassan Mahmoud also back in the ODI squad. Tamim Iqbal is there. Mushrik Rahim, I believe, is there. 
Okay, Mahmudullah is there. Animal Hawk Bijoy is there. So my only change would be to play Animal Hawk Bijoy and drop Najmul Hussain tomorrow and only bring him back if Animal Hawk Bijoy is injured. Okay, at least he broke a world record. A world record in domestic cricket. Something that even Shakib, Mahmudullah, Mushriq, Ashraful, Tamim, none of them could do. He did something that none of them took, none of them could do. At least give him the courtesy to give him a proper opportunity and have him play all three ODIs. That is the main thing I want to see from this three Zimbabwe ODIs. Other than that, this squad looks very good. This squad looks very promising. Okay, and it's also good to see Tajul Islam in the mix. So I would also like to see in a match or two Tajul Islam playing because Shakabul Hassan is obviously not playing. And yes, yes, Shakabul Hassan, yes, obviously he'll go into vacation mode. Obviously. Okay, sorry about the few tongue twisters, but yeah. His family is in the United States. He got kids growing up. You can't have kids growing up with an out of house dad and expect the kids to be properly developed okay and yes i'm flexing my psychological muscles a little bit okay one of the very big reasons okay you see a lot of the youth in certain parts of the world you know not be psychologically right in the head it's because of incomplete parenting I wouldn't say improper, I'll say incomplete, where the presence of a good father figure and a good mother figure were not available in the right amount, okay? So Shakib going into vacation mode every chance he gets to raise his kids. Yes, that's what any normal human being would do, buddy. Okay, if I said anything against it, yeah, I, yeah, I completely retract those statements, uh, you know, retract those statements. But overall, these are my thoughts about the ODI squad and the T20 squad that have been selected for the Zimbabwe tour. Let me know who you would have liked to have seen, like to have dropped, or what squad you would have picked entirely if you had picked an entirely different squad. And yes, um, shout out to like you know some of my commenters, uh, Shubha or Shubay, uh, rare cricket videos. Nothing but love for you guys. One of them actually mentioned the topic of Rubel Hussain. Okay. Yeah, Rubel Hussain kind of got done wrong. And yeah, uh, well, Imrul Kaiz is with the, the Bangladesh Tigers uh, squad and whatnot. There's also a Bangladesh A squad coming to the West Indies. So that's also, you know, a good way to bolster the bench strength. But with Rubel Hussain, see, buddy, who do you drop? You can only play 11 players. Shoriful Islam, who do you drop? Mustafa Rahman, Tafke Namad, he's on fire right now. Who do you drop? There's no one to drop. So I'm sorry, but Rubal Hussain is a he's now a reserve player. Because people more promising than him have come up. Would I like to see Rubal Hussain still? Bowl for a few more years and play international cricket for a few more years? Absolutely. Absolutely. But do I think it's realistically possible? Chances are very slim. All right. That's it for this video. Uh, please do hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons. If you see a video pop up, please do check that out as well. It's your boy, Tanvir Saad, the Bengal Dragon, signing out. I'll see you in the next video.